Thanks for coming and joining me in the video. I'm going to show you the quickest way in which you can set your left and right locators for creating loopable ranges or maybe you just want to set them up over a bunch of events quickly. So let's take a look at how you do this. For context, most people, if they want to loop something, they will take the left and right locators and drag them over the range of events that they want to create a loop for. So they drag the left locator to the edge of the event here they drag the right locator to the the end of an event and you can see that it's highlighted everything in between and then to activate the loop or the proper term active cycle uh, they would either come down to the transport bar and click active cycle or another way you could do it is by hovering over the top here until you see the little hand symbol and then left clicking and it will start looping things for you now a slightly quicker way of doing this, not the fastest, but slightly quicker way, would be to hold control and click to set your left locator, then hold alternate and click to set your right locator over whatever events you want to loop. And then again, you would use the active cycle from the top or from the transport bar. Now a quick tip, if you hover the mouse over most of the tools inside of Cubase, if they have a key binding, it will pop up and tell you what it's bound to on the key. So here you can see we have active cycle, uh, which is control and this little dash symbol. So if I don't want to move the mouse around and click, I can just do it from the keyboard using that keystroke. Now, what's the quickest way of setting your left and right locators? Well, if you select an event and then come up to the top and right click, you'll notice this extra menu. And from this menu, there's a little option called set locators to selection range. And it's also bound to a keystroke, which is the letter P. Now, if we select this, Cubase will automatically move the left and right locators over the selection. Now, something to note, uh, you can see here that this event hasn't been chopped in half, but this one has been chopped in half. Now, if I was to select one of these and click P, it's only going to set the left and right locators to the width of that event. If I want to set the left and right locators to the, you know, the width of this, but let's imagine that a lot of these are all chopped up like so, um, the quickest way to do it would be just to left click, drag and select them and then press P and it will automatically, you know, set them to the width, or you could just do it by selecting a couple of events and then pressing P. Super useful. So hopefully you've found this video handy. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.